Alright guys, I wanted to tell you a quick little trick to help you in diagnosing a computer. Now if you do enough of them, at some point you're going to find a PC that just does not want to power on. You can press the power button all day, flip the switch, plug it into a different wall, it's just not powering on. And maybe you don't have access to a power supply tester. Now of course you want to make sure that you know you don't have any other problems going on, but Let's say you don't have access to that power supply tester. Well, you really don't need one to test if the power supply is dead or not. What you need is one of these. Yeah, now you probably already figured that out from the title of the video, but I wanted to do a brief demonstration of this. So, let's say you're on the site, all you've got is a paper clip, you're going to MacGyver these power supplies. All right. So, of course, we need our power source, you know, regular power source, uh, let's see, I can't remember if this is the alive or dead one, I think this is the alive one, yeah. Alright, so you just plug it in, like that, we keep the switch off for now, and then you just get your uh, motherboard connector, this works on 20 or 24 pin, that doesn't really matter. And you're going to want to locate your green wire and a black wire. And this will essentially power on your power supply. And all you need to do is jump them. So you just grab your, your paper clip or if you want to use like a uh, insulated wire or something like that. But it's not really necessary because there's not, I mean this is a very low voltage thing we're working with here. And that's just the green one. Others I would be more careful with. I'm not sure of the... Uh, you know, voltages and all that, but I'd be careful. Alright, so you locate your your green wire. Just go ahead and plug that in like that. Locate your black wire. Just any old black wire will work just fine. Alright, you got them hooked up like that. Then you flip your switch. Can you guys hear that? Let me power it off and let you see the fan. See, there's the fan. Then we flip the switch, power on. And we know that this power supply is receiving power. And, of course, the fan is spinning. So, now that we know this, we just turn it off. And we move on to whatever else the problem could be. Now, from what I've heard, this could burn out something in your power supply if you leave this thing in there, you know, over an extended period of time. Uh, I've never experienced that, but, you know, if you're trying to, like, power on a uh, external hard drive or something like that, I would use a different power supply other than, like, a spare desktop one. I would use, like, a dedicated brick or something like that. Anyway, let's move on to the dead one. So we've got another old power supply here, and this one is a 24-pin connector, so we get to look at that. Now, unfortunately, it doesn't have a switch, so we're just going to have to plug it in and see if it powers on or not. So we are... Get in there. All right. We find our black... Uh, black wire, like that. There we go, we're in. Nice and hooked up. Just go ahead and plug this thing in. I don't hear anything. Hmm. What is wrong with this power supply? Well, first of all, it's very dusty, but as you can see, well, you could see earlier, the fans aren't moving. So, in all likelihood, this power supply is completely dead and will not work. So, just wanted to show you guys that brief demonstration, and hopefully this helps somebody out. Uh, like I said, new videos coming soon, new Rogue coming soon, so see you then.